Now, Greater Manchester Police have apologised and paid compensation to a street preacher who was arrested and kept in a cell for 19 hours for quoting the Bible. It happened after two young men asked John Craven about the book's view on homosexuality. They then told a police officer they'd been offended by his explanation. Greater Manchester Police admits mistakes were made, while our chief porter Dave Guest is in Manchester City Centre for us now. So, Dave, just tell us more about what actually happened. Well, John Craven was here in Piccadilly Gardens spreading the gospel one September day in 2011 when these two young gay men approached him and asked what he thought about gay people. Now, he said to them it didn't matter what he thought, it mattered what God thought, and he quoted various... Uh, passages from the Bible and gave his interpretation of the Bible's stance on homosexuality. Well, these men went to a police officer and complained that they'd been offended by what he had to say, and Mr Craven was arrested on the spot, taken to a police station and held in a cell for 15 hours, he says, without food or drink or medication that he needed. He was eventually released without charge, but with a lingering sense of injustice, and people we spoke to here today also felt that perhaps he'd been rather harshly treated. It depends how, how he explained it. I mean, did he say it in an offensive way? But he should have been maybe questioned and interviewed before he was locked up. What do you think about the fact that preacher was held for that long without food and water? I thought it was terrible. Terrible. He hasn't committed a crime. As, as, as a gay man as well, I do think it was heavy-handed. Because religion brainwashes people to believe what's that. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one, really. Isn't it? it's, all, it's all the perception of the person who they're saying it to. It's what they believe in. And Dave, Mr Craven did have some help in his challenge to the police, didn't he? That's right. The Christian Institute, a charity that promotes the Christian faith, helped him to take legal action against GMP, saying that his human rights had been breached. Now, before it came to court, GMP have actually decided to pay him £13,000 in compensation. They're also having to pay £50,000 in legal costs. And the Christian Institute says there's a more worrying underlying theme here. It was very worrying that this officer thought that the right way to deal with this street preacher was to arrest him without asking him any questions and to lock him in a cell for, for 19 hours. That's very worrying. That ought to worry anybody who cares a jot for freedom of speech. And I, I, I hope that Greater Manchester Police are looking at this case very closely and making sure that their officers are trained so that this kind of thing does not happen again. Well, today GMP couldn't put anyone up for interview, but they admit mistakes were made in this case. Back to you.